Do you ever wonder what's inside of robots? There's gotta be hundreds of nuts and bolts and wires and washers, and of course a wishbone. It's basically a whole hardware store in there. So the robot in this next story must feel right at home. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. Robotic technology is prominent in our world today, but so far there hasn't been a lot of direct robot-human interaction. Well, things are about to change. Just outside of San Jose, California, at the massive NASA Research Park in Silicon Valley, the Lowe's Innovation Lab is developing full-size working robots to assist customers inside a hardware store. The man leading the charge is Kyle Nels, a certified robot fan who invited me to visit the lab to introduce me to what they affectionately call the Oshbot. The Oshbot is an autonomous navigational robot. And what the Oshbot does basically is it will roll up to you, you talk to it, it talks to you, and it can help you find things inside of the store. Kyle showed me some of the inner workings of the Oshbot. The actual parts used to build it aren't hard to find. How much of this technology is proprietary, or is, is this stuff that was built with off-the-shelf parts? Yeah, so largely, a lot of these technologies exist in other places. The biggest technical challenges have been taking something like this, which is from the future, essentially, and putting it into existing systems. What Kyle means is being able to program a robot that connects to a digital database that knows the exact location of nearly 10,000 items in a store, as well as process and understand a variety of different languages. We went to the San Jose store, where Oshbot interacts with real customers. So there they are, the Oshbots. They're waiting to help us. They are. I'm Oshbot. I can help you find things in the store. Oshbot is many different things. At the top here, we have a 3D depth sensing camera, and that depth sensing camera will allow you to do a variety of different things. Namely, you can bring the random screw or hinge or whatever, hold it up, we'll recognize what it is, tell you what it is, and if we have it inside the store, then you can use the rest of it to figure out how to get there. Wow, that's pretty amazing. You can interact with Oshbot using the touchscreen keyboard, or simply press the microphone and talk to it in any language. I'm here for mailboxes. I need cool. a mailbox. Cool, I need a mailbox. I am looking for a mailbox. So what it's doing is it's processing it and trying to find the relevant thing. Oh, and then I can select whatever specific box that I want. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm liking this one. Oh, that nice. item appears to be on aisle 12. Would you like me to take you there? Yes. Sure. Follow me. And I think you did a great job. That's a beautiful mailbox. <laughs> I mean, just beautiful. So what, what it's doing is it's turning around now, and then on the back here, depending on what part of the store you're in, it can display different messages. Now, do you find that customers who talk to Oshbot and use Oshbot actually end up following Oshbot through the store? Yeah, people really like to try it out and kind of learn how it's going to go. Now, will Oshbot be able to move faster? at some point. Yeah, and, and not even just faster as a, just a straight, always faster. We but, are here. Oh. oh, here we go. We made it. See if she, it, found the go. right mailbox. And it did. It did. Kyle's goal is to make the Oshbot as intuitive and useful as using your smartphone to order pizza. But will the Oshbot wear a tool belt and replace people inside the store? <laughs> the Oshbot will not wear a tool belt. Robots are definitely not here to take jobs. What the robot does is it adds a bit of fun, but also solves a lot of problems. That's good news because when it comes to hardware stores, I don't know a wrench from a... What are the names of the other tools?